All right, everyone. It's me again. Hilariously enough, uh, there's a little too much content right now on my YouTube, so uh, I think uh, when things slow down a little bit, all right, I got this video, including this video, I got four more videos to do. Poss Black is going, Poseidon Black, is going to go live hopefully in the next couple hours. All right, right now Phantom's just being kind of annoying apparently. So let me get this out here. Because I really would like a few days off, to be honest, so... I don't know, it looks fine to me now. Oh, great, are they about to launch now? Uh, let me see... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, dotting, dotting, dotting. Well, we were always still on the air by this, okay. Alright, so, I don't know, they'll, they'll obviously deal with it. <clears throat> so, anyway, I've actually had a few, a few of you actually ask about you know, a quick update, I guess, or just simply an update on Sphere of Finance. I mean, there's really not much more to say aside from the fact that it just keeps going up. So I guess I'll just talk about what I think is kind of causing this. So obviously, this is a real project, uh, and they've got a very powerful team. Uh, they've got some good partnerships. Again, their dynamic tax system, like I helped design for or with sim obviously works really well i'm actually now in the 10 percent bracket which is hilarious because i didn't add any more position i'm just doing normal compounding with a little bit of withdrawals i assume it's working so technically i am now paying 30 percent on my sales right so as you can see it's obviously working great you know you can just look at just how much money the treasury is growing and everything it's kind of weird because Libero has been doing pretty bad, for for example, but for some reason they have a lot of money in the treasury, so I don't even understand what's wrong with Libero. These guys, uh, you know, are do but Sphere, on the other hand, is doing, you know, quite well. So, I don't really know why exactly it's flying. Obviously, I don't really care, right? Because I know Sim, he's doing really well. Uh, oh, man, I haven't heard from him in all of like a million years. And uh, thank you all for support, investment and all, blah, blah, blah. Yep. Okay. So, hey, man. I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, I'm doing a video right now. Uh, uh, BRB. Uh, but, no, I just... Okay. So, uh, what was I saying? So, I think maybe what I could do is maybe I'll just go in the sphere disco. Uh... Oh, okay, so he's been busy with his thing, okay. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, Alright, so let's see. So Sim does a lot of AMAs, so that's very good. The market cap of Sphere is about 51 million bucks. So we're already catching up to Titano pretty well. Uh, we got some fake people in the announcements. Of course, there's always going to be some scammers. There, uh, oh yeah, you should actually get the Google Crow update. Apparently, there's some kind of zero-day hack thing or whatever the hell that means. So obviously, update your Crow. Anyway, issues. Let's see. Oh yeah, another reason. Okay, so they recently had a vote, and I voted for it, of course. Let's see, they want to eliminate 2% of the RFV fees and move that instead into a burning fee. Okay, but basically Sim figured out that because the protocol creates 1.91% of daily tokens, now if Sphere automatically buys back 2% of the tokens, I'm not really sure how that math would work out, but I guess it does work out. Then slowly over time, you would actually see Sphere getting more and more rare, I think. That's essentially what it is. I mean, I, I, I don't really feel... Uh, right now, I'm a little rushed, right? Because I got like a million things going on. I, got, I, I still weigh up the side in black. So I can't do too much uh, of a third... Oh, great. I'm on Chrome. I was like, you guys can't see what I'm looking at. So this is one of their things, right? So, you know, let me see. So basically... So basically, there's a very slow deflation, and that doesn't even include Sphere Games, right? Which is Titano Play, 
All right, and all there are this stuff that they're doing. So Sphere is really, really going ham. So on top of that, I think what's making this project different from a bunch of other projects is these are actual real pro programmers. And not just uh, randomly hiring people on Fiverr. And then basically, I guess that's, uh, I guess the smart money actually can figure out that it's actually not enough devs. So that might actually be why, you know, say Caesar is under pressure. So, or people have real devs, projects have real devs, and they just work too slow. Again, I think of Caesar, right? So, you know, some projects will do well, some will fail, and a lot will be kind of like in the middle and, you know, slowly declining in value until, the, you know, they can get some work done. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, that's just how it goes, you know. That's why you always spread out your money all over the place. So, all right, let me let you guys see that. Oh, yeah, before I move on, is there anything on this dashboard? I mean, there's obviously nothing in here to show you because this is a dummy MetaMask account, right? So you can't see whatever. But uh, so far, everything's working well. And, you know, obviously, this, the, the, this project basically is setting me financially free on its own. That's, like, that's how good Sphere is. It, it, it's quite incredible. Uh, let's see. So Sphere is, let's see, they've been trending number one for a while. And they're even in top five pair and quick swap. So they're just getting, like, people are just going nuts over Sphere. Okay, we got a lot of Guardians tokens over Tether. I don't need to buy them. We need to... Uh... Okay, hold on. Additionally, we are collecting a lot of governance tokens over Tetu without the need to buy them. And we'll need them to that. We need them so that we can maximize our utility for quantum liquidity and Vodium prowess. Okay, so... Uh... Yeah, it looks like Tetu and something called Key or Kwai or Key. It's actually called Kai. But it's spelled Q I. So this is probably so this is reminds me a lot of like the curve finance. So I'm looking on Discord, so you can't see it. But basically, you just go on the Discord announcements and look at what Sim has been doing and his team. Because remember, right? He and I were on the policy team for Congruent, right? AK Metaverse Pro before it. So they're, they're, we're basically just do, uh, doing whatever Congruent is doing, but much faster, quicker, and much more easily too. So. You know, it's it really is the classic story of fast, efficient, quick business versus you know big lumbering, big government kind of thing, All right? So believe it or not, big government does actually work, but you're going to be waiting a long time before you you know see them actually get anything done, All right? That that's kind of like the point, the the bureaucracy, right? Well, I'm making videos, so do that. Oi, oi, oi. Uh, you know what? Uh. Yeah, I guess I'll just do some random missions here. Yeah, this is my my uh, thing on Firestone. So let me see. So I don't know what this stuff is, but I also don't care. But I also know it's obviously important. So Sim is obviously buying up a lot of this stuff, or somehow getting it for free, or whatever he's saying here. So uh, they're already listed on D Bank. Of course, I voted instantly as soon as I saw a thing. Uh, of course, they're also verified by Jesse Eckel and his Obsidian Council, so that's a thing. Okay, so March 24, 2022. Let's see. He has a summary of everything, so this is good. Excuse me. All right, so he also explains whatever this quantum stuff is. This means our liquidity pool has grown to a little more over $5 million, which was few days ago so it's probably higher now actually I could probably take a look actually what is it right now I mean it's probably very healthy already yeah you can't see it because my thumb camera but it says 6.1 million in the upper right corner so sphere is just going I mean just look at this look at this it doesn't it doesn't it actually does not know how to really go down it just goes straight up this is this is fantastic uh, I guess you guys can look at this for a second guys and gals thus we continue to stabilize and work on additional returns via Sphere's soon-to-be utility, quantum liquidity. If we were to go from a very conservative perspective and say we make about 10% via quantum liquidity, that would mean $500,000 in pure earnings on our LP without ever doing anything, just providing liquidity. This is purely artificial volume generated by the protocol itself. 
And that's not even a factor in the price increase of Polymatic as a token. Life is good. Yeah, perfect timing because as you already know from watching my channel for a little while, all right, this is the real reason why everything, this is the real reason why inflation is going out of control, the US dollar is dying, and thus stuff, stocks, equities, cryptocurrencies included, this is the money supply in the trillions of the T, right? This is why crypto, this is why everything's going up in value, right? Your dollar is actually losing value. Not just the dollar, but your Chinese renminbi. Well, I don't know about the renminbi, but any Western back, because now that, because this whole Russia-Ukraine thing is actually starting to like actually have serious uh, effects. You may not know it, but it already has, right? Because the rest of the world is getting kind of sick and tired of our shit. All right, our shit as in the American regime and all the pedo bears that actually run the world. It's a very interesting time to be uh, to, to be alive. Oh, thank God the microphone was uh, on. I guess I uh, punched something, I guess. Well, not really. Just just this chair because I don't want to damage the apartment. So basically, you know, it takes more dollars to buy the same exact thing, right? That's actually why this stuff is going up. I mean, at, you know, we might hit Bitcoin 45 grand like in a few hours or tonight, right? Because it's just going up. Like, everything's just going up. So... Let's see, and there's the Federal Reserve balance sheet that's also buying up stuff and hyperinflation. This this actually causes inflation, all right? Maybe watch Gregory Manor, you know, I can explain it more, but this is the Federal Reserve balance sheet, right? This is their actual asset column, right? They own almost nine trillion with a T dollars worth of stuff. It's mostly mortgage-backed securities and anything related to real estate derivatives, right? And they also own, you know, US debt, essentially. They issue debt through one door and then buy it back through another door and then they sell it off too, right? To take some profits. That, that, that's why all this shit is so distorted in the world. So obviously, thanks to the incredible tax system that Sphere has, you know, we get the benefit of that. That's why Titano is going up. That's why cryptocurrencies in general are going up. The only, the only crypto projects that are not doing well are the ones that actually have fundamental problems, right? Poseidon. Raven Black got kind of got cucked by that fake honeypot bullshit, so we kind of never recovered from that, right? And, you know, Poss Black is coming out, you know, again in a few hours, so, you know, once they had, because they really shouldn't have, and he knows this now, right? Everyone knows it. He should not have launched another project so soon. Now he's getting overwhelmed, but the good news is, you know, he'll eventually get around to doing the work, because you're just going to have to wait. So, because... Uh, cause I'm actually, gonna, cause the, I ha, I'm actually going to wait for Pops Black to obviously settle in. We'll get a more realistic daily APR on it. And we'll actually see if this world first thing that they're doing actually work. I think it actually will. Like they especially implemented a tax system. So it's actually kind of like a hybrid between Peg Maker. I'm talking about Poseidon Black right now. Peg Maker and Printer Financial. So I think it'll actually work. At least in game three in my head, it seems to work. All right. So anyway, so Sphere is obviously going to catch like whatever is going to be happening in the markets all over the world, right? So it's basically, you think Sphere is expensive now at like three cents? I got in at the whitelist, the first whitelist, so zero zero one, right? And also, also if I couldn't get it, you know, I would have just asked him to just hand me a whitelist roll for the hell of it, all right? But I didn't have to do that. I did it like everyone else, because you know I was gonna just do it for free anyway. But I just happened to get the whitelist, so. So yeah, my my place is very secured. I I I'm making the amount of money I'm making in Sphere right now is just like almost unbelievable for how little well how little relatively I put in. It's like I wish every project I invested in was like Sphere. Right? We all want that, right? But that's actually not realistic, right? That's actually not realistic. That doesn't have to be. All you need is technically one great winner like this, and you're set for life. So you put like a thousand dollars into like. 20 different projects, all you need is one of them to become Sphere, right? And it negates like your other $19,000 that you basically wasted, quote unquote. And all the projects that I have money in, they're still going, right? They haven't rug pulled. So I'm still making money off it, just not nearly as much, and it could very well recover. And I think it will, right? It just needs more time, manpower, and code. So, all right. Anyway, let's get back to the original point. So it looks like this quantum liquidity thing that they're doing is generating cash flow. So that's obviously a big reason why the treasury is going out of control for Sphere and why Sphere keeps going up in value. See, 
This guy knows how to make money. Right? I don't understand why all these Titano forks and even Tomb forks with treasuries, which I assume they all do, don't reinvest their money. That's all you have to do. Have a ginormous effing treasury, right? And then just use that to just say, hey, we got a big treasury. Go buy our tokens. That's all you got to do, <laughs> right? You know, you got to treat this like an investment company, right? You make money to, and then take that money that you make to make even more money. You buy, like, for example, I'm actually considering running my own projects. The problem is, say, say is setting up a trap for me most likely, and I need to put together an actual effing team, right? I also don't quite have the money right now yet, so... You know, I want to wait. Believe it or not, I would probably want to wait until I at least become a multimillionaire. At least I have my first million dollars and I'm living in, you know, Florida. I have my house or condo or whatever the hell I wind up buying, right? Real property. I get settled in and then I run my projects and then I figure out, you know, what I really want. All right. And then, and then that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to be like, okay, here's your, here's the treasury, right? For now, I don't know what I'm going to call it. Let's just give it a temporary name. So let's call it, you know, Johnson Chan Finance, right? Or Johnson Chen Titano Fork, right? Or whatever, right? I think that'll be the, the Titano Fork is probably the first thing I would make because that's the simplest and easiest thing to do. And then I just reinvest the treasury. And the first thing, in fact, the first thing I would probably do is <sighs> Beefy Finance Phantom. Let's see, what are what are the stable coins paying out right now? Ah. <sighs> Oh, and you can bet that my treasury is buying is gonna buy up the shit out of Titano and Sphere. Like, like, uh, oh great. Oh, okay. I was like, what? Switch to this is not the right one. Oh god. All right. Uh, this is okay. I need to go. It's auto taking me to Binance Smart Chain, so I think I have to actually manually change myself to Phantom. And I have to do an update video for this. Go to Phantom app. Okay, I want a... I want a stable. Oh, hide zero balances. That's not what we want. Okay. So, daily APR. So, how do I look at this? Man, it's been a while. So I have to do the research on this. Okay, so this is LPs. Okay, we don't want an LP. We want a single asset. Shit. Why is this thing so screwed up? Stable LPs? Maybe this is what I'm looking at. All right, and I need to sort this. Of course, I can't sort. Oh, sort by APY. Here we go. So this is the Kwai or Kai 2 thing. So this must be related to what Sphere is investing in. The yearly APRs on this are kind of shit too. Ugh. I might have to actually hit up my buddy Sim and ask him about this stuff. Oh, that's a shame. So eight, so I mean, you're still getting an okay APR. It's better than the bank account. So you have TUSD, you have DOLA. Right? Of course, you got FRAX, which is... Seems complicated to buy, and of course you have good old uh, USDC. Okay, yeah, so I invested in something like this, you know, but let's say I want to do something more stable. Daily APR 1.7, I don't know what this WeGo thing is. I could try Tomb, all right, Harry Yee's not going to let his little pet project blow up, so this is... Uses Tomb Swap on Tomb. I didn't. So I guess Harry E has his own exchange. So basically, this is what I would look at, right? The first thing I would do is what is something simple that I can understand that would be safe. I have my treasury, right? Again, Jensen Chan Titano Finance as an example. I would be buying this up. So obviously, Sim is smarter than me and he has more experience than me. So that's why he's doing the more complicated stuff like Kai and I guess eventually Curve Finance and whatever. Because uh, Curve, I know, should be on Polygon. So you know he's going to be eyeing that too. So he's going to be generating all this nice, you know, relatively risk-free, not all, not completely, but relatively risk-free. And that's why everyone's buying this up. So it's a nice, you know, positive feedback loop. So, and thus this, this treasury is already almost uh, like 60% what Titano is. And we just did this in like, what, two weeks, right? Essentially, not even two weeks. Tomorrow will be two weeks. Like that's how, that's how insane things are right now. So the other thing I see, recognize here, 
is Tome and Mai. Hmm. And I think it's only because not a lot of... I just had three slices of homemade pizza, so I'm trying to get this burp out. So there's that. <clears throat> I can also try Dai FTM. Right, and I'm not going to touch Frax. I guess some people like USDC. I don't like using centralized coins, so I'd rather use my. All right, so you got Dola FTM as well. So this is going to be like, you know, the stable stuff, right? And obviously I will research this thoroughly and then just invest accordingly. I would probably buy up a bunch of these too, you know? It wouldn't be just one, right? Just have a nice diverse income. And then, you know, my treasury would buy up like Auto, which is on AVAX. It would buy Sphere, which is on Polygon. Uh, of course, I'm buying Smart Chain. I'd be doing Printer Financial. Uh, maybe a little bit liberal, even though it's under pressure. I would definitely have it by Titano, of course. Um, I don't know what projects am I invested in. I, of course, would not do Node projects by default because I need something that's auto compounding. All right, we need auto compounders. So you know. So I'm learning all this stuff, and eventually I'm just going to run my own thing, right? I will just show this entire world how to really run these fucking projects. Because, I'm, again, I think you, like me, are getting kind of sick and tired of these idiots that don't know what they're doing, right? Not everyone's going to be Sphere, right? But we want everybody to be Sphere. So, yeah. But in due time. And then, of course, in, I'm also going to do commercial real estate in real life, just like Code 7 is. So I want to have, that's another thing too. I also probably will wait till I have actual like commercial real estate under my belt. Get that going. And then when I launch my tomb fork, the tomb fork will, you know, of course, you know, hyper pump, you know, Judson Chan Titano finance by tying it to that. And in addition to maybe other things, I'm going to set the shares to be distributed over like a hundred years. Right. You know, it's like, why, why is it 12 months? You know? And then, of course, it'll be backed by commercial real estate. I will personally get half, but the other half of the profits will go back to, like, the Tomb Fork Treasury, right? So, and then you guys, I don't know, I guess we'll, I mean, it's going to be run like a dictatorship, so I'm just going to take suggestions because I'm the smart one, right? Everyone else follows. If you don't like it, just invest in a different project, you know? And it's like, you know, I'm going to be a huge, like, when it comes to mine, I'm going to be a huge asshole. That's because I know what I'm doing. All right, so, all right, anyway, I thought this was going to be a short video, but, I mean, again, I'm just trying to stretch this because, you know, there's not really much to talk about Sphere. It's going awesome. <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say. Uh, I read that our treasury currently stands at $7.5 That's massive. This Remember, this is from March 24th. If you look at Ohm, $500 million market cap, their current daily turnover is only 275.71K. Sphere, with a market cap of thirty-six million, sits on a daily revenue stream of around two hundred sixty thousand dollars. Taxes are heating up the treasury at a rapid pace. With all this liquidity, we are becoming the kingpins of DeFi sooner rather than later. Let's blah, blah blah. And the nice thing about Sphere is everyone can now look at their code and just copy it. So I wouldn't have to bug Sim too much. In fact, I would probably the first thing I would do is I would hire the, the most expensive forker on. Fiverr and he charges ten thousand dollars. I can show you guys. All right, hold on. And then we'll we'll end it on this. Fiverr.com. So if I tell you, oh God, I can't stand this diversity. We must have diversity all over the place because why not? We must have be diverse. Never mind, uh, smart. All right, so I first, because I use this site like a million times already, so I know my way around it. So I usually just go like the most, the highest level thing that's available. Right now, it's only level one. So I get these guys, and I go with the highest rated people. But I do look at like you know younger ones too. Uh, so he'll fork everything. He's using a picture of three ohm. How much does he charge? Let's see. If I do premium, he's charging me three thousand dollars. So I've seen this guy. The thing I don't like is his thing here. His description does not match what it says in the title. But I mean, you got like, actually, he's got more people here. Uh, nice work, bro. Da -da, war over fast. Okay. But the one guy I would really hire. Let me see if I can find him. I think it's this guy because he's got the Fiverr's personal choice. Uh, actually, who's this guy? I didn't see him before. Hot train for, yeah, 
forget the DAO. I will never run a DAO, by the way. Also, I'm a dictator, so I never. why would I want you to vote? <laughs> I alone make the decision, all right? You know, I have people helping me, you know, that's still going to be pretty closed. Okay, I will run this shit. I mean, basically, I'm just like Trump in that way, because he runs his thing like a dictatorship, right? I mean, it works in making money and creating business. Maybe it doesn't work so well in being president, all right? Well, that's a completely different thingy. Oh, he's from Serbia. Yeah. This guy actually looks, uh, he definitely looks smart, so that's good. Uh, two other the back of rapidly you the next way to project. His GitHub is Ether Lancer. So he even provides his thing. Kind of what's up for Empress Dow Fork. Uh, below here, such as staking and bonding. No, we don't want that. And Billiard the Dow with the thing. So he's got the same problem here, too. Uh, you'll find it. Okay, but he does actually do this other stuff too. He's charging 4500 bucks. So I would actually consider hitting this guy up if I wanted like a middle ground option. But the big money is this Fiber's Choice guy. It is now 6000 Oh, he's no longer charging $10,000. Oh, okay. Well, now it's 6000 Deploy fee is not included, so he also will he'll charge you for this. But he'll, but this guy is probably the smartest one of the bunch. That's why he's charging the most. So if I'm a multimillionaire, I would probably decide between this guy or the other guy, this smart-looking guy. So yeah, because because ultimately I I would be using outsourced devs because I don't think because at that point Sin's gonna just be too busy, right? So I can't ask him to help me. Uh, it's not in some permanent sense, all right? I'm sure I can pay him or give him a bunch of my own tokens or whatever as, like, you know, temporary payment. But, you know, I really would need a full-time group of, like, coders to, like, do all this crap, all right? Because I already know the tokenomics in my head, all right? And then, you know, let's say I grow... Because here's the thing, right? Uh, this treasury is obviously big but i could make this i could personally make this a lot bigger if i put it into commercial real estate you guys have no you guys and guys have no idea how, actually you probably do know how much money is out there all right hundreds of billions of dollars are traded in hand every year if not trillions with a t in commercial real estate that's actually where all the money really is that and you know of course the the idiot stock market all right i can even consider doing this too right but that's going to that's gonna actually create some regulatory issues, so I have to kind of think about that. Not to mention, every time I sell it for a profit, I have to pay taxes on it. So that's another thing I kind of don't want to have to deal with. I'd rather deal with it with commercial real estate, because at least tax laws are quite favorable. So, I don't know. But, yeah, I'm already seeing the, the future of finance already as I talk to you about this. So, the, the, what you're seeing here is literally just the beginning. It's in its infancy. All right, so you know, so I'm getting all, I'm getting it all in my head, you know. My next reward is 0 0.1 sphere. I don't have any money in here. I mean, it says I don't have any money in here. Oh, that's because I'm not on the right network. So whatever, you know, you get the idea. So anyway, that's a that's the update on sphere. I don't really feel like reading anymore. I mean, we basically know what the steal story is. Uh, wow, auto is now fifteen dollars. Uh, okay, all right. So I will see you in the next video. It's going to be APY Web 3, which apparently is a copycat of the Web 3 project, right? So, see, so yeah, with the exception of Auto, a lot of these Seifu forks are not doing well, right? And I think it's because it's suffering from the same problem as every other fork. They just simply fork think all the money is easy street and then they don't really do anything else and then their treasury starts suffering so you know it's going to be uh you know, so here's the thing they don't have enough money that's why that's why i want to wait till i actually not only have experience but a shit ton of money because you know what's going to happen let's say let's say i'm running a tomb fork or titano fork all right and and the project goes to like you know really all-time lows you know what i'm going to do I'm gonna buy back my own token, right? I've got 50 grand. I'll I'll pump it back up to like whatever, right? And then when all the idiots realize, hey, the dev is buy up all his shit. It's just like running a public company on the stock market. Everyone's shitting on your company, 
they dump all their stock shares. You, as the CEO or president or founder of your company, you buy back your own shares. Then what? Who, who else is left there to dump, right? There's only so much dumping pressure that there is before, you know, it can't go down anymore. That's why bottoms are always formed. <laughs> so, and I'll see you in the next video. That's a quick, quick, quote unquote, update on Sphere. Again, I don't know. There's not really much more to say. Like, it's going much higher. And at this point, it's, it's better than Titano. Right? We finally have a project better than Titano. I thought it was going to be Libero first. And it should be, but I don't know. People are just shitting on Libero for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know. But we'll see. I mean, they're coming out Libero and Phantom tomorrow, so, you know, whatever. Yeah. It's just, uh, just, nerd, just nerd at the office, right? All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Let's see. Oh, boy. I need to... Yeah, I really just need it to get the uh, really big... Ah, oh, jeez, this again. All right, I'm just going to write 100,000 APY a year. Uh, I'm not going to... Uh, I don't want to get right down the actual number, so... Yeah, yeah this is fine enough for a thumbnail, whatever. See you next video. Like, share, subscribe, etc., etc. I am throw, pumping out a lot of videos, but I am going to take at least a couple of days off, if not a, like three or even four days off. So you're getting all this good content now because it's going to tidy you over for a little while. Plus, Attack on Titan, the second to last episode, aka the pen ultimate episode, sadly, is going to be released on Crunchyroll for free people tonight. So I'm very, very excited about that. It's very excited. It's called Retros Retrospective. Retro Retrospective. Yeah. Yeah. All right. See you next video. Thanks.